What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Tonight we're checking out Shiny again, uh, and this song is called Juliet. Uh, we are going in an order. Uh, I've really enjoyed uh, Shiny so far, not even really enjoyed, I've really loved Shiny so far. Uh, I wasn't crazy about Amigo, but it wasn't because of what the guys were doing, it was because of the nature of the song and how very unfiltered SM that song is. Uh, and I've just never been crazy about those uh, those tracks that uh, their artists uh, do sometimes. So either way, you guys said I would enjoy this one. So let's check this out. This is Shiny with Juliet. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. You guys did say I was going to enjoy this one. We do have a, a little SM bass going on there. Let's just start it again. I trust you guys. Yeah. yeah. Me no. Okay. Ooh, even even Anu. You know, you gotta stop looking at people like that, bro. What is he doing, dude? Ooh. That's so nice. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Junior. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Very, very interesting so far. That pre-chorus is very, very, very nice. It's interesting. It struck me when Anu came on because usually Jung Hyun is the one that does that, what I've called George Michael tone. Obviously, Michael Jackson did it as well, but whenever the guys open up and the songs that we've heard so far, I hear nothing but George. I don't hear any Michael in that section but or, or when they open up. But that Jung Hyun attack is very much reminiscent of Michael as well, right? But this time, Anu is doing it as well. All of them are really doing it. They're all digging into that same tone, and then all of a sudden, I'm going to make it, or whatever he said, very much Michael. So this is interesting. Okay, all right. I don't hear any George in this song so far. So, all right, let's go back and let the chorus vibe in. I love it. Ooh, interesting. Hold up, hold up, Mino. We'll get to you in a second. Hold on. Okay, so very, very, very catchy chorus. Very good chorus. But they did the seal thing again. I forgot what song. It wasn't Replay. It was either Replay or Love Like Oxygen. They did the seal melody, a kiss from a rose on a something or other. They did it again here in this chorus. Yeah, they did it there. They did it twice, actually, if I, if I remember correctly. I was, that was the second time leading into the next section. Interesting. It's a catchy, it's a catchy melody. Uh, it's interesting that it's in two different songs, which is not unheard of. I know I've definitely heard repeats of things. Uh, especially in like twice music, right? It's like a formula, right? This that that's what they were into at the time, the producers and everything. So they use it again. It's not unheard of uh, because it is very very nice. But like I said in that other reaction, it's very signature to that Seal song. So it's definitely noticeable uh, if you're notice uh, if you're old enough to to know about that song. So all right, very very nice. All right, let's go back and let's see what uh, Mino has for us. Interesting. Andrew, was Mino off time there? Let's go back here. No, no, I don't think he's off time, but there's a lot of vowels that start his words, and he's adding some vibe into it that makes it sound off. Also, let's see, let's hear this again. Let's go back here. Mm 
Yeah, it sounds like he's a little bit behind the beat. Almost like if he didn't, uh, as if he didn't uh, uh, track that with uh, with a click track, which would make sense, especially if you're going for a little bit more vibe. Don't uh, don't use the click track. But either way, he's on time. It's just the attack, and then also the nature of the words that are used makes it feel that way. But it's all for vibe. So, all right, let's just start it here. And Anu's still on that. Everybody. Okay. Interesting. Stop. They're doing a little uh, telephone effect in the background. I love it. They intensified the strings in this one. If I. Ooh, that is a nice bridge. Disco strings. <laughs> oh my god that man holy shit dude they raised the I, I just felt my i'm getting the ch i got the chills right i got goosebumps but i could just feel them not just an instant flash of goosebumps like normal like usually happens it was like a steady rise because they did a very good job there are strings in the other section uh and it's they seem to be more intense in that chorus than the previous or at least i, I just noticed them in this one but then all of a sudden they kicked in those very high disco sounding string strings and it was just intensifying a little bit more. And then the big explosion was Jong Hyun. That was so nice. We're going to hear that again. Uh, let's pretend it's here. Oh, no, a little bit further back. Did you hear the way that man sung Juliet? Holy shit. Okay, there's a lot there. First of all, the belt was super nice. He's like doing, the, the top line's doing like O with really, really strong, nice vibrato. And it's either Anu or him. I think it's, uh, uh, I think it's Jung Hyun doing the backup as well because the vibrato seems to be uh, 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 the same. But in the background, it sounds like he's doing an ah. So front line is doing O oh, and an ah in the background. It just makes this really, really strong belt. Super, super nice. And I need to hear this Juliet shit again. Hold on, hold on. Jesus Christ. I swear to God, any woman named Juliet who watched this video or heard this song gets pregnant immediately. I'm just saying it. Did you hear the way that man just sang Juliet? Holy shit. Mm. <laughs> that was so, so nice. Why was it so low? They definitely wanted us to hear the belt, obviously. They definitely wanted us to hear the, 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 the part before that. But when he did that real soulful Juliet, like, it's just lower in the mix. Either way, you can hear it, right? But shit, that was nice. I wanted that louder. Ooh, we're just going to hear all this again, and we're just going to move on after that. All right. That's really, really nice. It's a perfect bridge for the song, actually. The strings. 
And that man... <laughs> Ooh, man. This song is so freaking good. Mino, Mino, when are you going to stop squinting at people like that, bro? You just distracted me, man. I was fucking vibing, and all of a sudden, you're looking at me like you're trying to get with me. What is this shit? Always squinting at people. Ooh, and they ride it out. Very, very nice. Because they should. Wow. That was super, super powerful. And yeah, you guys were right, obviously. I love it. Holy shit. The cool thing to me is that I was a little nervous in the beginning, right? Because coming off of Amigo into this, that SM style production, that SM style bass kicked in and I was like, okay, is this just, well, y'all trolling me? Is this just another SM style track? And essentially it is, but it's the, the reason why it strikes me this way or why it's, it's so interesting to me is because it is, un, you know, unfiltered SM but they mixed an actual song on top of it. Like the production in this is so, so nice. So it's that SM sound that I'm really not crazy about all the time because it's just over the top, right? This shows what when they do it right, when they do it and make an actual palatable song out of it that you can just vibe to and digest how amazing all that is together, right? Because it is different. You're mixing two different things together and it's so wonderfully done in this song. That song was so so good and i don't know what's next but you guys let me know what's coming up next either way this is playlist for sure really enjoyed it if you enjoyed this content please like and like subscribe and comment and i'll see you next time peace